Santa is out a little early this year. The pandemic isn't stopping him from helping good boys and girls here in central Arkansas. Yeah, in fact, he's been putting in a lot of hard work in Sherwood. Super, I've been excited about this, and you have too. Oh, yeah. All week long, Mindy Noel joins us live right now to show us how one very special holiday display actually benefits charity and makes you smile at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mandy, how is it out there? Oh, oh Christmas. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, guys. Yeah, we're going to get out there in the middle of it here in just a little while but Hillary Suzanne we got Santa we got a winter wonderland here behind us we got candles we got unicorns we got snowmen but let's go talk to Santa um, sometimes he goes by mr. Burr but right now he's going by Santa and hello Santa thank you so much for joining us tell us a little bit of what we have out here uh, a little bit of everything it's about <laughs> close to 150 inflatables probably over 400 little blow molds uh this year we've kind of gone to some wireframe type stuff uh mrs claus wanted more lights okay. instead of inflatables so there's pretty much a little bit of everything and then in the garage we've got a village set up with probably close to 300 uh houses and then close to a thousand doodads and things like that so you guys have been working on this for you said like 20 21 years and every year you collect donations to go to three different charities can you tell us a little bit about those first charity is the sylvan hills booster club all four of my boys went to school there three of the four played football geez basketball wrestled uh you name it they tried it and uh I'm still their public address announcer, so part of the money goes there. Part of the money goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation in honor of a young man that played peewee football at Sylvan Hills with a good friend of mine that was his coach, and he passed with cancer before they could grant his wish. In fact, his parents and an aunt and uncle live their property backs up against ours, which worked out kind of nice. And then lastly, part of the money goes to Wounded Warrior Project in honor of my two youngest sons. One is a former Marine and one is currently stationed at Fort Lewis in Washington State. So you guys accept donations every year and you said to date you've raised $55,000 or so. $55, Just shy. So tell us, tell people where they can find you. Uh, we are, our address is 10301 Sales Road. That's S-A-Y-L-E-S. Uh, it's a Jacksonville address, but technically we are out in the county. If you're coming from Conway, Maumel, even Little Rock, the easiest thing to do is if you go I-40 to the Mayflower exit and go east on 89. When 89 veers off on Jacksonville Conway, just keep going straight. That is sales road. You'll be here in no time. All right, Santa, thank you so much. And thanks for doing this for the community. It's a really cool thing that you guys have out here. You can come out, drive through, hit up the village, too. They've got a lot out here, as you can see behind me.